the standard of hip hop albums being as strong as they have been this year, your expectations for future hip hop projects become raised and you expect that trend to continue. However, that potentially has the misfortune of some projects coming off as somewhat lackluster when going head to head with the likes of YG, Death Grips, Clipping, Aesop Rock and Kendrick Lamar, all of whom have dropped fantastic hip hop albums in 2016. All of them were gripping lyrically, had great sounds going for them and the vocal performances were overall tremendous. So the fourth studio album, entitled Atrocity Exhibition by the American rapper Danny Brown had to make an impact in order to be anywhere near as incredible as the aforementioned artist's works. And although I don't think this album is in that particular echelon, it's still worth its soul and Brown delivers a rather raw, grim and lyrically brooding album. Despite having its fair share of guest artists, Brown is able to carry this album through cohesively enough and competently enough. That's not to say that there aren't some blemishes to be found on this album. One that stares the listener so blatantly in the face is Brown's vocals. I can understand how some listeners may take umbrage with Brown's vocal performances because, if truth be told, I found myself struggling to embrace his tones fully. And whilst I do not find myself always liking his vocal deliveries, there's enough quality to the lyrics that I find myself accepting the vocals and embracing the lyrical content found here. Thematically, the album delves into Brown's history of drug abuse and the emotions that subsequently followed his problems, which included loneliness, depression and constant thoughts related to death. The opening track, Downward Spiral, sets the album off nicely with Brown recognising his predicament and expresses his desire to get out as soon as possible before more damage is incurred. And Danny's trip on this downward spiral only continues and intensifies as the album goes on, experiencing the emotions of not seeing the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel on Ain't It Funny, going about his business of selling drugs as it's the only thing he knows on Lost, the angst and crippling solitude he went through is laid out on When It Rain. All in all, everything is painted with such bleak colours that this album comes off awfully grim. Ultimately culminating on the final track, Hell For It, ending the album on a rather optimistic notion that in the face of his demons, Danny's going to continue to fight on. He's going to continue to battle his way through his problems, and behind all the peppered up glory and riches that come with his success, they ultimately don't mean shit to him, as he's going to be busy carving his own legacy once he's found his way out of the depths. Despite such stark imagery and pessimism that is smothered in the lyrics, this brief moment of optimism shows that there's a fighter inside the man. He could waste his time whining, bitching and moaning about life, but he's smart enough to know that only he can make things better and he's aiming to do so. Instrumentally, this album has a great deal of variance that each track has its own USP, whether it's experimental like Downward Spiral with its warped, distorted guitars and clattering drums and scattered hi-hats, Rolling Stone with its intermittent bass guitar groove creating a funky feel, a melody coming courtesy from a xylophone of all instruments on Really Do, the use of horns that are present on tracks like Gold Dust and Ain't It Funny, although on both tracks the production does feel a little overloaded which can somewhat spoil some songs, Lost with its warbling vocal inclusion is a particular highlight on that track, the dark synth bass coupled with an almost industrial percussion piece along with what sounds like bells or pneumonia, or hell for it with the echoing piano melody with the constant staccato bass notes. There's such a wide range of sounds and noises that you're bound to find plenty that will stick long after the album's over. As I said before, there's going to be a contingency of people who aren't going to gravitate towards this album, and I understand why. For one, the vocal performances can go from one extreme to the next. The production can often feel too overstuffed and in need of more clarity. For instance, look at Bottomless Pit by Death Grips if you want to hear production on an experimental album done perfectly. And some tracks do have the misfortune of being stuffed with too many forced rhymes that a few tracks do lose me. But with that being said, chalk this one up as another solid hip-hop album. The trend continues, and I salute Mr. Brown for his efforts.